Most of us dealing with a nice Saturday summer evening, but a couple pop up showers will guide us through sunset and then kind of taper off through the rest of our evening when temperatures drop to near 70 degrees around dawn tomorrow. It's going to start muggy and then it will be a warm and humid day. Can't rule out those pop up showers that just develop in the warmth and humidity, but rain chances real slim 20 to 30% of us dealing with a quick little shower towards the afternoon. So Sunday plans are a go. Just keep an eye to the radar in the afternoon. Monday, though, that all changes an approaching cool front's going to drop into the region and it's going to develop some potentially strong to severe thunderstorms by Monday evening into that commute after things get real warm. Talk about low 90s over top of some humidity values that will make it feel like the mid to upper 90s. So we're going to have a heat index to deal with Monday afternoon. It's going to feel like a ripe summer day and all that heat and humidity will fire up those thunderstorms by Monday evening. So that'll be the day we uh, stay weather aware. But for Sunday, get out and enjoy one or two of those showers pops up. That's really going to be about it. Those rain chances are real slim. So take advantage of the sunshine we see throughout the afternoon. Monday morning looks good. Monday afternoon looks OK. Two, three o'clock. Watch how quickly those thunderstorms start to develop, though, as we head towards the 5, 6 o'clock hour. And then we go into the evening commute. There's going to be some heavy rain, potentially damaging wind, and even some hail thrown into the mix. So there's going to be some strong thunderstorms as we go into Monday evening after temperatures get to the low 90s. A few lingering showers on Tuesday, and then we've got 80s through the rest of the week with relatively lower humidity values, allowing for some more sunshine to guide us through week's end.